Welcome to the Content 10X Podcast. 10X Podcast. The show where content creators learn how to harness the power of content repurposing. And now, your host, Amy Woods. Hello and welcome to this episode of the Content 10X Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Woods, and in today's episode, I'm going to be talking all about content upgrades. So I'm going to talk about what they are, why you might use them, some tips, and also plenty of examples of the different kinds of content upgrades. So firstly, what is a content upgrade? So many people I'm sure have heard of the term a lead magnet or sometimes people call them an ethical bribe, but um, different ways that you can offer something of value to your audience in exchange for obtaining their email address so that you can build your email list. So often lead magnets may be um, on your website. You may have the same lead magnet that is on different pages on the sidebar on your blog and different parts of your homepage or about page. You might have a particular lead magnet that you use for your list building for a few months and then you may change it up. But a content upgrade is a form of a lead magnet, but it's very specific to a piece of content. So it's a bit like an extra bonus really related to that content. And they're really, really good because if people are already interested in the topic that you are discussing, whether it's in your video, a podcast, a blog post, or people are already very interested, then they're more likely to want what you are offering by way of a content upgrade if it's completely aligned with that topic and it offers them more value. So there are many online marketers who you see doing this quite a lot. For example, Amy Porterfield, who's quite well known for online marketing and particularly teaching people how to create online courses. She does this with nearly every single post that she puts on her website, which is, um, you know, quite the extreme, really. It clearly works for her. And if you've got a team behind you who can do that, then, then why not? So that's something that she does. Pat Flynn of Smart Passive Income, he also uses content upgrades and they're really known to be very, very effective. So I think that content upgrades are a really good example of content repurposing because if you've already created the piece of content anyway, then creating an upgrade related to that topic is very much um, a form of repurposing. So here are some of my tips. So firstly, tip number one is to make any content upgrade that you create easily consumable. So it's about high value, but not necessarily high length. It doesn't need to be that 50 page ebook when it could be a single page checklist or cheat sheet or something like that. So people are more interested in having quick and easy ways to solve the problems than long and convoluted ways to solve the problem. So just bear that in mind that you don't have to think, right, I must go and create a 10 part video course or a a big ebook because you don't need to do that. You can just think about something extra that will add value. And that comes on to the next point which is to make sure that you try and address a problem as well so the more specific you can be in addressing a problem the more likely that people are going to see that that could directly help them and then finally if you can try and make it something actionable as well so where people can see that you are going to be able to take them to a positive end result so for example if you help people get from a to c and your lead magnet or rather your content upgrade gets them from a to b then that's great because you're taking them on the journey to where you ultimately want them to go and then when they want help with getting to c they're more likely to go with the person who got them from a to b than a complete stranger so it's really good to think about your end result and and what you want to offer them ultimately and keep everything aligned if you can So let me just run through some examples of different kinds of content upgrades. So the first content upgrade is a checklist. So we all love checklists, especially if you're providing, maybe it's a long podcast episode or a long form post and you provide lots of different tips, then putting that into a really simple checklist is a great thing to do. So that's number one. Number two is a PDF version of your blog post. So This is, you would be surprised how many people are actually interested in having 
a downloadable, printable PDF of blog posts that they find really interesting and they want to refer back to. So simply offering that can be a good form of content upgrade. And very similar to that is offering a transcript. So if you've done a podcast episode or a video, then simply offering a transcript of the podcast or the video can be really useful for people. If they thought it was a great episode and they, again, they want to refer back to it, then rather than making copious notes themselves, if you can offer them a transcript and then they can highlight things and make notes from the transcript, that can be really, really valuable and really useful for people. So next up is a list of tools or resources. So if you have provided examples of different tools and different resources that you use in the original piece of content, then why not just put that in a simple list that they can then download and have for themselves? So list of tools, resources, a great content upgrade. So next is providing a quick guide. So let's say you've created some content where you provide some instructions or some step-by-step guidance, something like that. Then creating a simple quick guide that people can get hold of and it can help them. And again, it just takes the content a step further and adds extra value. And in addition to that, Another idea is a bonus video. So let's say that you've done a blog post, then you could say to people, if you would like to get hold of this bonus video, where I talk about the topic of this blog post in a bit more detail, or where I look at a particular case study, or something else that you could do in a video, and people need to just provide their email address to get hold of that video, then that is another good example. It doesn't always have to be downloaded. It could be a bonus video. It could also be a bonus audio file as well. And I guess that comes on to another example that I had, which is that you could offer a bonus interview. So let's say you've interviewed somebody on your podcast and after you've completed the podcast interview, you could ask them to stay on the line and you could do an extra bonus interview with them, maybe a quick fire round or ask some really specific questions that you didn't get to ask in the episode itself or perhaps you held off from asking in the episode and then you could offer that to your audience and say that if you enjoyed the podcast episode then why not download this extra 10 minute bonus interview with the guests where we went through this or that topic so that's another great idea. Another idea is to offer up an infographic, so to create a visual from the content that you've created. Perhaps you could display the infographic, but if people want to download it and have a copy of it, then you know they can provide their email address and get that infographic. Another idea is providing templates. So let's say, for example, you have just done a podcast episode where you've provided some advice on how to pitch yourself to podcast hosts if you want to be a guest on their podcast then you could provide a email template that people could use that they could um, make some amendments and then send off so the perfect templates so email templates are a great idea blog post templates if you've talked through the great structure of a blog post things like that where you can provide a template and a structure people really like and similarly a swipe file as well so let's say for example you have just done a video where you've talked to people about how to have great headlines for their Facebook ads in order to get more clicks on their ads, then you could provide a swipe file of the 50 best headlines that you have used in the last year to get um, clicks on your Facebook ads or get results on your Facebook ads. Those kind of swipe files are really good. So that is another example. And then the final example that I have of a content upgrade is providing some kind of course or challenge. So for example, let's say that you have just written a post on ways to grow your email list, then you could offer a free course that people could sign up for a free challenge. Over the next week, you'll get an email from me every day with a different challenge for you to complete to grow your email list. So again, it's just an example of where if you've provided something of value already in your content and you go the extra mile and provide something extra that people have to provide their email address in order to get hold of it, you grow your email address and they get some extra value. So it's a win-win situation and it's a great thing to do by way of content repurposing. 
So I hope I've inspired you to think about different content upgrades that you could create for some of the great content that you're already putting out there. And funnily enough, I have created a one page guide that covers off all of the tips that I've given in this episode for creating content upgrades and all of the different examples as well. So if you would like to get hold of that, please go to content10x.com forward slash upgrades. And even if you just want to see an example of the repurposing of this podcast episode into a content upgrade, then go on over there and get hold of this. It's content10x forward slash upgrade. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Content 10X podcast. If you have, I would love it if you could leave a review. As always, please feel free to get in touch with me, amy at content10x.com. And I'm on all the social media networks with the handle at content10x. Thank you very much for listening and I'll catch you in the next episode.